In today's review, we are going to be checking out the Husky folding motor tool utility knife. This is the package it comes with. It is just basically a box cutter, but a specific one. This is an industrial box cutter to cut boxes. Great survival tool in case you need to slice open a bunch of boxes for different things and specifically since I work and I ship a lot of merchandise something like this is very handy it has a plastic thing here for the blade you can put this right back on it doesn't go very easily on so you have to carefully put this on next you press on this button right here and it folds just like that it's kind of big for what it is. And second thing that it has is ability for you to go ahead and open this up and to get the blade out of there. Now, this is a little bit tricky here. You're going to be putting this back in just like that. Now there's something for you to keep in mind if you're going to get this. It took me like quite some time to figure out how to put this all back in. And this is one of the annoying things about this. It's just this specific thing to put this in here. It doesn't go very well. My biggest grip of this tool is that it's pretty hard for you to open this. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how you open this. And it only is done in one way. You pull this all the way in. As you pull this in, you put your finger right here. And you're going to be pulling it down. And you're going to use some force to pull it. And then you see it's actually opening up right there. Once you see it's opening up, you pull it a little more. And it does open up. And now you can take and remove the actual blade. Pull it more up. Get it out. Put this right back in. So this is my biggest grip of this tool and one thing is you have to pull it all the way in to close it as well. And this is not easy for you to do that. So opening and closing it is not easy. There we go. There. Oh, that was hard. Hopefully you won't have to do this too many times. Every time I do this, you have to be super careful with your fingers. This is no joke. Now, when it comes to actually using this tool, this super sharp, it slices things just like a knife. And it's slicing this piece of wood here. Now, this is an old twig. It's actually practically impossible to slice this in half, even if I tried, even with the best knife in the world, this is not going to slice it. But it does make marks on it. It's very sharp. It will do its job. It will cut things up. As you can see right there. Never actually move it like this. As you can see, moving it against it, my fingers are right here, I'm going to get hurt. You always want to slice something away from your body. And that keeps you from getting injured. That's probably the best advice anybody ever gave me when it comes to woodworking and specifically with knives. Slice things away from your body. If anything happens, it will impact right here, not on your fingers. And then you have to go to ER. But this is good. It does its job. It cuts pretty well. And it slices pretty good too. I do like this tool, I like the way it works, I just wish this tool would open up much more easier and for something that you pay 18 bucks you expect it to work much more better. Maybe I got a defective unit, if you guys have the same knife let me know how it actually works and if you guys have an easier way of this to open up, maybe over time it's going to get much more slicker and easier me to use but because of that it's hard for me to give 
recommendation for this knife because of the opening mechanism. Now, one thing you could potentially do if you have a specific tool here, and this one takes like a specific style tool. Not everybody has this tool to open this up. You could probably loosen this up a little bit and maybe then it's gonna open up much more easier. I love the wooden handle, the classic look. I also wish this was a little bit more small, but for industrial use, it would do its job as long as you don't have to change the blade because that is one of the major weaknesses of this knife. For survival and for everyday use, this would make a good knife. But the only other issue is the way it folds. Now, one other problem is that this thing is plastic, easily could be chipped and you can lose it. You close this up right here. It does close pretty well. Unfortunately, it doesn't go all the way in, so it looks a little bit cumbersome in your pocket. It does open up pretty good. It feels high quality. I'm just not sure this is going to be what I'm going to be keeping it. So, overall, I would say 7 out of 10. And the, the biggest knuckle is the opening mechanism right here. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this, please join the Geek Tech Show and see you in another episode of the show. Thank you.